Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here is One Punch Man Hero Nobody Knows. So you know what you shouldn't also know it is the existence of this game. This game it is developed by Spike Jumpsoft, the same developers of Jump Force. I don't understand why these guys, these developers always want to put uh, outside a game that are written with caps lock on so jump force it was written with caps lock on and this game the same it seems to be calling attention for some reason and i do understand that because both those games suck a lot and this one it does suck all right let's start with the settings so first of all this is my recommended settings this is 1440p with maximum settings the i settings it is the maximum you can go for and that's about it. On the requirements, it seems that these guys only know about the existence of Intel and Nvidia. There are no recommendations for IMD CPUs or IMD GPUs. So the recommended it is an i5-7400, 8GB of RAM and the GTX 580. Alright, these are the recommended and it seems that our system it is fine for that because at 1080p at maximum settings and 1440p with maximum settings what I got with was an experience locked to 60 frames per second yes the game it is locked to 60 frames per second that's it 4k median settings what I got was an average of 60 frames per second with a 1% low of 51 this uh, drops from 60, fr 60 frames per second on 4k median settings only happens during the traveling through the city during the fights it was stable at 60 frames per second with some minor drops when some special attack happens. Alright, that's what you should know. So, the performance it is pretty good in all resolutions with 4K median settings having some drops here and there. Alright, so th that's just about it, the performance about the game. As for the game itself, why do I say it sucks? I, I think I should be honest why I say that. On this video, you will be seeing me losing all the fights in your... And you might be thinking that I say that the game suck because I just lose all the matches in here. And so what happens really is that I do suck and not the game. But the reality it is, unless you are really a fan of One Punch Man and you like Japanese games where you just have some 10 or 20 hours of generic quests with some main story quest that happens from 10 hours in 10 hours with a small cutscene and some nice battle... Uh, if if this is what you want, then this game it is for you because this game it is everything what is wrong about Japanese games. It's just it fetch here. quests all over okay. the place, uh, very it. generic quests all over the place for 10 or 20 hours where you need to be grinding all over the place. If you don't grind, you can't evolve your character to be, you know suitable for the main quests and if you go to these main quests you just simply lose the gameplay feels kind of similar to jump force and the only thing good about uh, this game comparing to jump force it is really just the graphics you know the graphics on jump force it were pretty good but the character design it was weird you know it felt out of place it's not like dragon ball kakarot where everything still seems anime this game Yes, it is. It brings the visuals from Jump Force, but it doesn't feel like it is out of place or anything like it. It is the only good thing I have to talk about that, because all the rest it is just a pretty generic Japanese game where you need to grind entirely, just like an MMU. The other thing good that might be good for you about this game is that if you have a friend that are completely insane with uh, uh, One Punch Man, then you can play with it because that is a multiplayer mode where you can play cooperative with him and that's the only good thing but most of the game are only bad things about it unless you are Japanese and you really care about this type of gameplay unless you are really big fan on a really big 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 fan of one punch man it's not only necessary to be a fan you really need to be a big big fan to enjoy this game honestly it takes a lot uh, in that case it is for you but let me tell you that these guys are also insane the pricing of this game it is a full price it is $49.99 on Steam uh, I, w I left you a link for Greenman Gaming which is actually the same price of Steam and that is a deluxe edition at $64.99 because this game even has DLCs there is a pre-order DLC pack which costs you 5 euros and there are a character pass which costs you 20 euros 
Also, this game, everything feels very generic. Even the these fighting informants felt feels very generic with low resolution textures, and I don't know. Even the most of the characters just don't talk. Everything it is just written on screen. This game clearly doesn't deserve the money. All right, you might even enjoy the, the game. I'm not going to judge you for that. But seriously, $49.99 and even paying for DLCs to have a full experience of this, a full experience of this game, it isn't really worth it. Shumsoft, it is kind of crash cash grabbing the game on people that actually love the anime. It's mostly the way that I see it. It is really this. They are completely pulling up the cow's money uh, from people that actually enjoy the anime and trying to steal the people that want to to play this game. It's just that. I don't have any other explanation regarding that. And with that I'm going to finish my video over here. Uh, also the game it is having kind of a 44% on Steam. This usually don't happen only if the game it is really really bad. And yes, 44% on Steam. At least this video it is to, to warn you about what you should get or what you shouldn't. But even now that I'm talking in here, I'm going to search for Metacritic and to see how bad or good this game scored. Metacritic, it, it fares a 61 score, which isn't really that bad, but the user score it is 3.7. So you can clearly see that this game it isn't really that great and clearly it doesn't deserve the money. At least, just wait for a deep, 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 deep sale if you care about this. Which I, I honestly, I don't think it is going to happen because Japanese are just crazy. Alright, so guys, that's all that I want to talk about. One Punch Man, a hero that nobody knows. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. It's hard when you see me losing anyway. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> you want to throw down? It's time to do this. Eat this. Hold up. What? Try blocking this. Stay. What? Try blocking me! Stay right there! Stay right there! Try blocking me! Oh, what a shame! I can't even hear that sore loser anymore! <laughs>